Yeah, we're going to look at two things in this video. We're going to look at scouting and how to expand. So these are, your, these are starting tactics for total annihilation escalation. And I'm showing a game where I'm playing against Harold. He's a very, very good player. I haven't beat him this year. Uh, the last time I beat him was uh, at least a year ago. So the first thing he's going to do is uh, send a few jeppies over. And we're going to look at what these jeppies do. First thing they'll do is try and find a con and kill that con. Luckily, I had a radar there and was able to send units over just in time to save it. So, you don't want to lose your Jeffies early game. You don't want to lose these scouts. You want to do something with them that makes them useful. And at this point of the game, four minutes in, you're not going to get any con kill, or not, not con kills, but construction, construction unit kills. So what you want to do is make the best use of these units' biggest asset. And uh, Jeffies have the highest sight distance for any T1 unit. I'm going to slow it down right here real quick. You'll notice that this is a very large line of sight. And he's moving it so that he's got as much coverage as possible. He's able to actually see from this crater all the way to that crater. So what this does is it lets him tell whether or not I'm attacking uh, from the north. So let's just get rid of that real quick. And obviously you'll you, you'll understand why that's important, because if he knows that I'm not going to attack from the north, he's going to be able to send this all the way over, build a lot of mechs in, in, you know, to the east, he's able to take this whole northeast area and not have to build that many laser towers. Building laser towers slows you down. It, it might be nice because you're able to defend your mechs automatically, not have to worry about unit control, but... Um, if you build mexes instead of laser towers, you're going to be able to get a larger army much faster than otherwise. So you'll notice he's got jeppies all over this, this section right here, and he's able to cover a perimeter. I like to think of this as a holding perimeter. Let's, uh, let's speed this up a little bit. We're going to look at this pattern right over here. This is where you have the... Uh, the rally line so when you're when you're building units you can have them move to a certain location kind of a waypoint he's, he's sending these down to uh reinforce these jeffies but you'll notice that the flashes go right alongside the line of these maxes right here so even though there's an lt right here he's able to defend these maxes if any units are you know going to come up and try and attack you can send these to counter very quickly and efficiently, just like this right here. He's got he's got my AK, and he's going to be able to take that out pretty easily. So these flashes are rallying over here, and and just one other thing, which is you know this genius. It's great since all these uh, Jeffies are able to hold this this section right here. He rallies his flashes in this section, so this this section right here, because it's equidistant from any of these points. If I attack any of these angles, he's able to re respond in e in you know as as equal of time as possible. So it's the most defensive pattern. This might look very offensive, but he's playing very he's playing a very defensive game right now. He's not focusing on taking out any of my buildings. He's not trying to destroy my base. He's only trying to cut off any raids that I might make. Let's speed this up. Throughout this, you'll notice that these uh, Jeffies are still holding this little perimeter.
and it's checking this mech right here, making sure that there's uh, no content landing, and then again, checking this mech right here with these units, making sure that the cons aren't landing. So, he's kind of taking care of two different attacks at once. One, he's making sure that I'm not expanding with cons using these Jeffies to the eat to the you know to the the far corners. And two, after he's able to establish you know dominance around the perimeter of my base, he's also sending flashes in to check these mexes that I've circled here in green. So if you're able to prevent the enemy from expanding outward and send raids in, the point of the raid that you're you're going the point of these raids, the purpose is to make sure that the enemy is not expanding inside of his line. If you're able to do that, you're able to prevent the enemy from growing as fast as you are. And uh, also, since you know that no one's attacking, you can expand much more much more quickly uh, than you do if you expand under pressure. Since there's a hole in the line of sight right here, there's a, there's a gap, he'll be sending these flashes over to defend against these AKs. That's what the whole point of this unit is, it's to take care of any attack. So instead of being surprised by these units, say in some kind of undefended area, he's going to be able to meet them with these flashes as soon as possible and as far away as possible from the bases and the units that Harold is trying to protect. 